Alright guys, we're out here for another little adventure. I'm hiking and I actually came up here by myself and was walking over to the trailhead and met my friend Preston that I've worked with that's missing stuff over the years. And he decided we'd hike together. I had a few friends bail on this trip that were going to make it before but didn't and I found him up here like 100 miles away from where I know him from so it's pretty cool. Um, We've been hiking a little bit. I got a whole bunch of new gear and stuff, and we're gonna look for a spot to set up camp. But this is our surroundings right now. I forgot, failed to mention, we're up in the Uinta National Forest in Utah. I think this is Cliff Lake. I'm not sure. We'll ask the guys over there. Um. Okay, everybody, this is... I'm Chase, Scoutmaster Chase. <laughs> I am Cadison. Preston. Preston. <laughs> all right, yeah, we just found a spot for camp, and we're going to get the fire pit going, get all the tents set up. I have to still find a spot for my hammock. So, yeah, we'll do all that and then show you guys that later. All right, so I'm splitting or batoning up some wood so I can try to start the fire with my bench made and my fire steel. So I'm just going to get these split up into smaller pieces. Attempt to do that. Okay. Hey, but I want to watch the bike fire. Gonna see if I can make a fire. We cavemen need fire. <laughs> I think that's like a little, a little abrasion. Mm. It's teeny tiny, but it's a little abrasion. This is usually where I fell. It's getting them to stay lit. Little twigs. Oh. Oh no, you smothered it. Yes, I did. Alrighty guys, so right here I really am having a hard time trying to start the fire. Um, I think the main problem I was having is I didn't take the time to make the fire curls curly enough or make enough of them and I didn't have a solid base of logs underneath the, the curls. So where I'm trying to use the knife to strike right there, it kept moving on me and the, the sparks weren't landing where I wanted them to. And the wood I was using was just a little bit damp on the inside. I should have taken more time to check that first. So, yeah, I think I did pretty good though. Lighter? <laughs> Go for it. Uh -uh. Well. And that's how you make a fire. <laughs> Cause that took way too long. It's out for the camera. <laughs> Probably got shined right in the face for that, like the pack line, so. Oh my oh, look at that! I'm sorry. No, no, like I probably shined your camera. Oh. More small. Look at that. Look at that dope. That's what I should bring next time is like some, I brought some fire oh, Tomorrow, we I'll, we'll some practice fire. tomorrow. All right. What you're having for dinner? Is that a new stove? Uh, that is a new stove. It's a new stove I got. What um, stove is it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's a cool one. Look cool. at that. And I am having Mountain House turkey dinner. Turkey dinner, Preston, what are you having? Beef stroganoff. What are you having? Having an MRE chicken noodle soup. Oh, my camera is not in focus at all. Awesome. <laughs> then I'm having the American, the uh, All American Burger Works from Packet Gourmet. They're like a outdoor backpacking food company. Yeah. And uh, she had some awesome little tortillas for me because I forgot to bring some. <laughs> See how these MRE tortillas look. <coughs> I'm, I feel 
like they're gonna look all right. I don't know how they're gonna taste. <laughs> it looks like a tortilla. Oh, they're so cute and small. That's probably not gonna be enough for my boot. I'll try it. Yeah, little MRE tortillas. Pretty cool. Come in a little bag. And here's the all American works burger thing. Let's see if I can do this without like. I'm just hugging because it's so warm, guys. All over myself. Oh, look at that. You got little burger chunks. This is going to leak everywhere. I'm going to be a grizzly bear attractant. It's dripping on me. At least you got a. Water, there's water resistant pants. All right, let's try the first bite of these. I don't want that. <laughs> it tastes like a hamburger. Oh. And it tastes like it tastes like McDonald's burger. Mm. We all enjoyed the rest of our dinners, sat around the campfire for a little bit, and then got ready for bed. Good morning, everybody. Hello. Oh, good morning. <laughs> coffee. Need your coffee. These are Jiva coffee cubes. I found them actually from another YouTuber online. Uh, Syntax77, I think was his name. Um, they're cool, just little compressed coffee cubes. And you just drop them in hot water or boiling water and they'll dissolve. And you put whatever else you want in with it. So this is about to be boiling. Alright guys, we're out here at the lake, if you can't tell, um, right out here, pretty cool, but um, I got my fishing pole, it is the Presso 
the Daiwa Presso rod. So that's one of their backpacking models. It's a four piece breakdown rod. It is a six foot six rod. I am using a bubble with about a six foot leader and then a fly. I'm not sure which type of fly it is. This little guy here, you can see that. But this is what one of my friends from work told me I should try to do to fish with out here. So we're gonna give it a shot. This type of fishing, I have no idea how long I'm supposed to leave it out, but. Yeah, I'm not too sure on how to do this type of fishing, but I'll keep trying, and if I get anything, I'll let you guys know. So I probably should have filmed it, but I got a big old knot in my reel. I had a guy at a local sporting goods store put line on my reel for me, and I think he accidentally put a back loop in it on the spinner. I don't know how, but yeah, so I had to take a loop off take my reel off. I've, I did get it fixed, so I'm gonna get all that. I'm gonna pack all this out. I'm gonna leave this here, like most people probably would. Put my reel back on my rod. So far that's turning out to be a pretty cool trip guys. I haven't caught any fish or anything yet, but just sitting here hanging out and having a good time. It's awesome. I definitely needed to get out of the, the city for a little while and come up here and it was my first time to the UNS for like backpacking. I've been up here once with Michael to that butterfly lake. You guys, if you want to check out that video, I can put it in the description below or link it right here somewhere if you can even see me but I'm gonna finish stringing up the pole here and we'll try to get fishing again I am gonna switch up to this little Panther Martin number two so yeah catch you guys in a minute alright guys I'm gonna do like a little panorama shot of the lake this is the for me right now, the right side of the lake, all the way over the lake, kind of where we have to ride. Don't have my compass on me right now. So, there's Chase right there. Scoutmaster Chase getting ready to throw a cast. And then pan over here. Camp. Our camp is like back in, in this area. 
I'll show you guys a full detailed look at camp here in a little while. We're gonna fish for a while longer and just keep keep going. So so far this has been just an awesome, amazing trip. I mean, this is probably my favorite, new favorite place to come camping. And I've got three awesome or two new friends in Preston. Preston's been my friend since like junior high, but we haven't really stayed in contact here much here and there and we did work together at Smith's for like two or three years but I got sick towards the end of that and left because of my diabetic neuropathy and then that cleared up and I found another job after that so yeah well, I'm gonna fish here for a little bit and we'll show you guys if we catch anything what do you guys think of the glasses do you like them let me know hi right, guys First cast I threw, I got snagged, so I'm gonna hike over here and see if I can not, or I'm gonna hike in the water and see if I can get my lure back. It's still attached to the line, luckily. So yeah, I'm gonna go hike in the water and see if I can get it back. So, guys. My lure is stuck. Should I have gone for the lure? Tell me in the comments below. Let me know. I think I don't think it's worth a two dollar lure. All right, guys. So we got back to camp. Uh, I totally forgot to film when I broke out the bacon and the twig stove. We're actually cooking on wood today instead of propane, so it's cooking pretty good so far. Like really fast, actually. All right, guys. So right here, I'm using the totes small titanium backpacking wood stove. I got it on Amazon for $44.95. I cooked all of the breakfast on this wood burning stove. It did pretty good. I One thing I think it could do better is getting rid of the ashes and debris out of the bottom. But other than that, the stove performed awesome. And after this, we hung out, just talked for a little bit, and then got ready for the rest of the day. And for breakfast, we had four pieces of brown sugar bacon that I had gotten from Smith's, a box of Hungry Jack potatoes. They come dehydrated in a box. You can buy it at your local grocery store. And we were going to have four eggs, but I spilt about three and a half of them on the ground. So, yeah. Alrighty, guys. I ate breakfast and everything. It was really good. Um, I forgot to film again, <laughs> but I'm going to go down to the lake down this way and go wash my dishes. They're just dirty pots and pans and wash some dishes for Chase also. Um, I actually am going to pack up tonight and I think move to a different lake and these guys are going to stay here. So we're going to split up, but it was way cool to find them and meet them again. And yeah, go wash some dishes and we'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. Alright guys, so I'm getting camp cleaned up here a little bit. Here's the tripod I'm using for the camera. Um, all my backpacking stuff down here, like my bag. Uh, contractor bag, which I'm using to put my sleeping bag, hammock, and underquilt in. And then over here is the hammock. It's the Dutchware Chameleon hammock. And the camo fabric, I believe it's the 1.0 fabric. And then I also have my underquilt in the same what the camo pattern they have. Um, 
I'm using a Kilti 41 for my sleeping bag and it was plenty warm last night. I have my little puffy jacket too, so that helps a lot. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna slowly pack up camp and get hiking to a different lake, I think. Chase is over there, use my saw, get some wood. Cut that wood. But yeah, we'll get all packed up here and get going in just a second. cool little spot so far. I really like it up here in the Uinas. There's a little lake over there. I don't know if you guys can see it at all. I'm using the GoPro now just because it's much more convenient. I moved some things around in my pack and right here instead. I'm just gonna hike as far as I can I think and I have tomorrow morning all day. I, I have pretty much all day tomorrow. Come home sometime Sunday night. I haven't been doing very good at filming so far, and I apologize for that. I just met up those guys at the trailhead. I was actually planning on coming up here alone, and doing all this alone, and saw my buddy Preston at the trailhead, and so it was like just meant to be. I had a few friends bail on this trip, and Preston and those guys were so nice to welcome me into their group and let me hike with them and stuff. So. Thank you guys for letting me camp with you. I appreciate it. And yeah. Alrighty guys, right here I had just come around the corner and up the hill and was getting the first glimpses of Wall Lake. Um, I had accidentally unplugged my microphone from the camera and but left the cord in the camera so it wasn't picking up any of the audio because the, the aux cord was still in the camera. And right here I'm walking around the corner getting my first good glimpses of the lake and the rock face right there. Right there that rock face people were cliff jumping off of which was really cool. Um, next time I go up there, I think it would be fun to try. But this just a really cool, beautiful lake. I'm sorry the camera's so shaky, but I was still hiking. So, <laughs> yeah, awesome little lake. Can't wait to get back out there.
Crystal Lake. Crystal Lake is this way. Trial is that way. I've never been to Trial. There's another sign over there that's good. It says one mile. Just a little bit. I'm actually right next to the pine right now. Look at the pine tree. Look at these pine cones. They're like soft. Calvin Wynn Research. What kind of pine tree this is? That's really cool. These pine cones are soft and they have sap all over them. But I'm gonna just come down over here. Which one of these people's gonna put on? They're kind of spot. Hopefully over here. people go. Look at that. There's a little campsite right here that would be awesome to watch the sunset on. Yep. This is it. Right up in here. There's a big old tree. Look up, there's not too many Widowmakers, there's kind of one up there, but this other pine tree is actually blocking it, and that one's still alive. So I'll probably make camp in between those two trees right there. Perfect. Nice big fire pit again. Maybe I will make a little fire tonight. There's actually two. That's full garbage, it looks like. very good at this stuff yet but yeah hopefully that wasn't too long and boring for you guys um, I do really enjoy setting all this up and filming this stuff for you guys but I am carrying like I'd say at least five six more pounds of just camera gear to be able to film this stuff for you guys but it's fun I like it Okay guys, so I'm getting my stuff ready um, just to go fishing real quick. I have my pole and everything. Sorry, I know I'm out of frame. But my pole right here. And I have all this camping stuff set up right under me. All that stuff there. And I think I'm just going to leave it here. The lake's just, well, I mean, not very far away. Just right down there. So I'm just going to go down there throw a few casts. I'm going to bring the GoPro with me just in case I get anything but yeah I'll just bring this camera. I'll bring the full camera so yeah let's go down there and see if we can catch a fish.
like I need to get more weight on you, so let's help you. Really. Yeah, I'm gonna switch it up. This little brown trout's not not nearly heavy enough. This is what I'm using here. A little brown trout look like, but I don't have any weight or anything on it, so it's got nothing to it. So I'm gonna go get the fishing kit and I'll be right back. All right, guys. So I'm gonna put on this little blue fox number one. It's got it's a little bit more weight to it than that little brown trout. So let's see if that. Do it for me. Put this thing back in the thing so I don't lose it. Set it on the ground, I'll probably lose it, huh? Smart. Smart, I'm a thinker now. Been doing more of that out here. So I did this seven, seven twist and then you thread it back through its eye. I don't know what that knot's called, but that's the one I've been using. Then I usually just bite off the little tag end. So yeah, let's give this a shot.
think I'll try back here in a little bit again and see if we can get anything. And my blood sugar's feeling a little, just a little bit low. So I'm gonna eat, make sure that squirrel has not eaten my food yet. And check out this little natural shelter right there. I just noticed right, right in my camp. That's way cool. Spin you guys around. the screen all those pines that is a little natural shelter somebody built cool go check it out all right guys so we're getting pretty close I'm down to my second to last battery out of five on that but I think I do want to have a fire tonight so I found this little tree just right behind me here I'm gonna cut it up into about foot long sections and this shucks. I think it should probably be enough firewood for me for one, you know, one night. And it's just me and I probably won't stay up very late, so. One smells like fatwood right there. Smells awesome. <laughs> I probably look funny with my hood on, but it was getting a little chilly over there. This is so cool. I love this place. Just gonna keep cutting this up, start preparing it for a fire. Um, I'll show you the fire pit real quick. The fire pit and everything's just right here in front of us. So there's actually two right here. There's that one and that one. I'm probably gonna use that that one there, the little lower one, next to all my stuff. So. What do you think? Do you guys think tomorrow morning I should do like a gear dump video? Or do you just want me to show you everything in a separate video? Maybe I'll do that. I'll do a separate video when I get home about everything I brought. Go over pack weight, all that stuff. Thanks for watching.
Okay guys, so I'm gonna try to hang a bear bag. I hang a bear bag pretty much every time I come back packing. Um, a bear bag, if you don't know what it is, is just a bag to keep your food up off the ground. Usually what I do is I take take a stuff sack, you know, any stuff, random stuff sack that you have, and I throw a couple rocks in it, and then I take, attach it to some paracord. Um, cord that would be better than paracord is like a non-stretch cord, any non-stretch cord. I don't have any with me this trip, so yeah. Normally, just find any limb that's about, I would say, 8 feet off the ground, 10 feet off the ground, and take it, throw it over. This will fall down off the limb. That's what the rocks are for, anyway and it'll fall down and you can pull the other end back up with your food so i'm going to throw it up over now and see if i can do it first try Never works out how I want it to. Never works out. Alright guys, I don't know if you can see that orange line in the tree there, but I got it. It wasn't exactly on my limb that I wanted it to be on, but it's better than what was happening, so <laughs> I'll take it. Anything at this point is a win. I got it stuck really good one time, and it's taken me probably 10 minutes to get it back out, so. There's quite a few people around here there's a large group of people over there that are kind of partying and playing music it's kind of nice to hear the music but then like yelling and screaming at each other's kind of annoying but again there's nothing I can do about it so all right guys I know it's getting it's getting a little bit darker but splitting up some of this wood for the fire it's just splitting wonderfully neat little pieces drop my whacking stick my baton stick working out how I wanted it to. All my sticks flying everywhere. My baton stick keeps falling down. It'd be nice if this log was flat. But that'd be too lucky, right? Too lucky, I think. Let's see if I can do some feather curls with these. Beautiful. They'll curl a little bit.
make up a couple feather curl sticks and see if we can't get a fire going here in just a second. Okay guys, it's getting a little bit dark and I'm gonna get my fire going. I split up all my small twigs and stuff. I, I, I'm sorry if this is hard for you to see right now. It's getting dark and I do have my headlamp in the back, but I wanna try this. smaller twigs up here. See, I don't know what's going on, guys. Why is this not working? I feel like I'm getting the right angles and stuff. A bad ferro rod or something. Ha, ah, ha, ha, ha. No, 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 no. What happened? Why? Am I not fast enough? <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> I did it! And my ferro rods not in the garbage or in the fire and my knife's in here. Oh my gosh! Yes! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Let's put these back away before I lose them. Awesome. I'm glad I got that on film for you guys and for myself. I don't know if you guys can 
see that, but the pot, water pot's in the fire there. There it is. Smoke's getting nice. Um, boiling up some water. I added what I think to be about three ounces of <laughs> cold water to the potatoes here. These are the cheddar potatoes. And then in a few minutes, I have to, it says add, again, two ounces of boiling water to the same pouch. And then add nine ounces of boiling water to this and then both sit for a while. So, do its thing, heat up in the fire. Dear Shepherd's Cottage Pie, you were delicious. Thank you for nourishing me. Yeah. Awesome. Gonna just hang out. What's what's left of the fire burn out? There's quite a bit of logs left. Probably can't see it. Hey guys, it is raining. This is my first rainstorm in the hammock. I hope that I got all the tarp set up tight enough. This one right here is a little close to me, but I'm so far dry. It is just sprinkling as of right now. I've got the other camera right here under the tarp. Everything under the tarp besides my fishing pole. Like my pots and pans. My pots and pans will be fine though. I'm not worried about that stuff, so. Yeah. First string stern in the hammock. And it sounds amazing. It's so cool. Awesome. Hopefully, I don't get wet. On four. Or pistol. Alrighty, checking with you guys in a while. Give an update on the rain. Alrighty, good morning guys. I don't think I've ever slept so long in the hammock before, but it's like 11 o'clock, so I definitely have to get up and start getting stuff ready. I think it's probably too late to fish now, but I'll get up, start getting breakfast ready slowly pack up the, the gear and then we'll get on the trail all right guys i got all out of the hammock and everything i'm gonna i went and got the food bag out of the tree and i'm gonna get breakfast out i got all my bags for each day labeled um i didn't eat half the bags for saturday we totally just skipped lunch so that's all right, I have a breakfast and a lunch in here. And today for breakfast, I have diner deluxe eggs with sausage. 
guys is I had this once on the I think it was the last backpacking video the Davis Creek Trail I don't even know if I've published it yet but I'll be sure to do that soon um awesome awesome meal so I'm gonna what it takes to make it um says remove all all olive oil packets and natural clay desiccants add six ounces of cool water water to the pouch and stir press air from pouch seal shake and massage lumps away pour olive oil into a hot skillet heat to sizzle and then add egg mix pan fry enjoy <laughs> so we'll get started on all that i'm gonna get the everything out here got rained on a little bit last night so Take all the, hopefully the stove is not affected by the rain too much. It's a little wet, but I think it should be fine. The only other thing I have to find is my lighter. I think it's in my backpack over there, so. And I'd say there's a little bit of rain. So, yeah, we'll get started on that and then check in with you guys in a little bit. Okay, guys, so I got the pan all nice and hot. Um, can I add the, stir the olive oil up a little bit. And add the eggs. Alright guys, so breakfast is all cooked up. 
see in the picture. Let's try the first bite right here. Really good again. Can I remember the last time? Hmm? Awesome. We used just a little salt and pepper. But that's because I'm obsessed with salt and pepper on everything. This did sit out in the rain. It might be solid. Pepper. A little salt. Kind of solid. The salt is. That's probably my fault, though. And yeah, there's a little water in there. There we go. All right. Salt and peppered to perfection. Try another bite. Oh yeah. Oh yeah that and I have my coffee not a bad way to start the morning guys and I slept till pretty much 11 so yeah scarf this stuff down probably pack up camp might stop and fish just for a minute at the lake it is a lot windier today than it was yesterday. I might even put on my jacket because it's I'm cold. So, yeah. I'm going to eat this and we'll get going. Alright guys, I got almost all of the... I got all the stuff cleaned up besides the hammock and the tarp still. So I'm going to finish putting this stuff away. I just thought some of you might want to see it. Again, I'm using whoopee slings. I usually just take one end off, grab the hammock, and start putting into its bag. Helps if the things are in them. I'm sorry. This way, if you're careful, your hammock never really has to touch the ground. It's not really, I don't really care most of the time if it does. I'd rather get like the perfect hang or all that stuff. And then I usually will just roll up the tree straps and the whoopee slings and throw one in each side also. But yeah, there's the hammock all down there. The tarp, I still have staked out just a little bit. I didn't use the stakes this time. I actually just took the lines and wrapped them around the trees here, which worked out surprisingly well. I never tried it that way before, but you know in a pinch last night when the rain started to come. I was not expecting it. Sat in the hammock and was wondering why is the sky flashing and then I realized it was lightning and then I was like, oh crap, better hurry and put my, pin my tarp, tarp out, so. Makeshift, I did stay dry though. And first rainstorm in a hammock, pretty much first rainstorm backpacking really. And I stayed dry. So I'm happy about that.
in this side real quick and continue putting the snake skin on. Snake skin, it's like a mesh snake skin. Okay, and right there guys, there is the whole snake skin and it's, or the whole tarp and it's snake skin. So it's a 12 foot tarp. I think it's 10 feet wide. If, I mean, if you lay it flat, it's 10 feet wide. So yeah, I'm running the Dutchware continuous ridge line. So there is a little hook on the end down over here on the end of the tree there's a little hook, just a teeny tiny little hook and on this end there is what he calls a wasp I'll actually take you guys and show you the wasp real quick because it's I think it's pretty cool so I don't have to tie any knots with this setup see that there so it looks like a little wasp so you it runs through the nose of it and you pull that to get its tension and then you hook it under the wing to keep the tension I lifted a little slack and next time I know that I need to learn how to sorry I'm trying to turn around so you can see me learn how to bring the tarp down because in my hammock when it was raining the bottom of my hammock was sticking out of the bottom of the tarp and there could be the potential to get water on you that way I'm I was lucky and didn't but next time we'll be more prepared and safe so gonna keep keep packing up it's a process <laughs> all right guys here's a quick look of the bag all packed up I have the camera tripod there that is my fishing rod holder and then I have my rain gear and stuff right in the front mesh pocket and spot GPS on the top water bottles on the sides then on me, I have my front pack. Sorry if you can't see. I'm really bad at transitioning through photos. My little front Badlands vinyl pack on. I don't have the fishing pole in the holder yet because I might throw a few casts just on the way out of here. So, yeah, we're going to get going. Got everything all packed up and ready to go. Hi right, guys, that's going to conclude fishing at Wall Lake. Um, I did get two bites on the grasshoppers, but was unsuccessful to pull them in. The first one, I think I did hook him, but it didn't actually like, or he ate it, but it didn't hook his lip. So that was me getting too excited the first time. But yeah, let's say goodbye to Wall Lake, and we're gonna get back on the trail now. It shouldn't be, it's not too long of a hike back out, so it's about 3 o'clock now. It may be 
take me an hour, an hour and a half to get to the truck, I think. So, yeah, keep hiking. His YouTube channel is Firebox Stoves. And his website is fireboxstoves.com. If you guys want to check out his products, it's a really cool uh, wood burning stove or twig stove. There's a few different models, and he's got a ton of accessories. All that stuff. Oh, cool. We made it back here. Good try now. Awesome. Yeah. That inspired me to do this type of trip. Fishing, cooking, stoves, all the good stuff. I didn't catch anything, but next time I'll be more prepared. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I think I'm going to end the video right here. So, you guys have a good rest of your day, night, or whatever it is you may be doing. Thanks for watching. <laughs> We went this way. So yeah, that was Pond Lake, Mooley Lake, and we hiked the Wall Lake Trail. I camped here somewhere, right on the edge here somewhere. But next time, I think it'd be cool to keep following the trail, come up here to Hope Lake, we keep going all the way to Ibontic Lake. I think that's how you say it. But I mean, there you can come all the way over here to Duck Lake, Island Lake, Long Lake, Weir Lake, Trial Lake. There's one that I could have gone to from. Oh, there's Trial Lake. Trail. Trail Lake. Trial Lake. Duh. But yeah, so from Wall Lake, we went up here, and you can take a shortcut to Trial Lake. So, maybe next time we'll do something like that. I'm, it feels so much lighter without the pack on it. It's crazy, but yeah. What do you guys think for post, post meal? I don't, I don't know what I feel like yet, so we'll figure it out here in a little bit, though.